In today's globalized world, many people have encounters with members of other cultures. And for many people, this is on a regular basis. These encounters happen in social, political, and commercial contexts. It is therefore important for people in all areas of their lives to be able to interact successfully with people who are from cultures that are different from theirs. This ability is called intercultural competence. Intercultural competence is needed for people from different cultures with their different values, practices, and ways of communicating to avoid conflict and misunderstanding. Intercultural competence requires people to be flexible in their thinking and to recognize that people are complex. To see people in ways that are simple and not complex is to stereotype people. Intercultural competence is not an all-or-nothing ability. People have different levels of intercultural competence among themselves and from context to context. People's intercultural competence will be more or less effective depending on their familiarity with the particular culture they are encountering and the particular stereotypes that they may believe. No one can be completely prepared for all the intercultural experiences that they will have in the future. And so intercultural competence requires flexibility. It requires the ability to think critically about differences. Critical thinking is also necessary to negotiate differences and use strategies to minimize conflict and misunderstandings. As English as a foreign language teachers, we are preparing our students for future intercultural encounters. In order to understand differences, the first step is to understand different from what? A necessary step in developing intercultural competence is to have a very clear understanding of oneself as a cultural being. That is, we need to understand what our own culture is and how it affects us day to day. The development of intercultural competence is an ongoing process. It never ends. In this course, we will explore our own cultural perspectives as well as other cultural perspectives. This will put us in an excellent position to help our students go through a similar process. This is a list of the references that were used in making this video. And here is a suggested article if you would like to read more about this subject. This is an open source article.